In this video, we're going to continue on with this example, and what we're actually going to derive here is the goal of Bayesian inference, which is called the posterior distribution. So it's the sort of probability distribution over values of theta, given that we have the data and also given our choice of model. So thus far, we've already found out what the likelihood in this particular circumstance is. We've also defined our prior probability here. And what we're saying in this prior probability is that we're exactly ambivalent between whether a given tribe doesn't have the disease or they do have a disease. So there's a probability of half in both of those circumstances. And we put these two things together to help us to define, or to derive rather, the denominator, which was equal to basically a marginal probability when we've summed over values of theta, and that gave us a half times one plus a half times an eighth, where the halves here were the marginals, sorry, were the, in this case, the prior, and the one and the one eighth in this example are the likelihoods. Okay, so putting it all together, we can derive the posterior. So I'm going to start off by deriving the probability that theta is equal to 1, given our data and given our model choice. First of all, looking at the numerator of this expression, we need to take the likelihood, which in this circumstance we know is just 1 eighth, and multiply it through by the prior probability that theta is equal to 1. And the prior probability we have chosen to be a half, so that's the numerator. And the denominator is just that term which we found over here, which is just a half times one plus one half times one eighth. So when you write it out in this form, you can see this sort of symmetry here with this term on the top being the same as this term on the bottom. And if you work through here, you find that this is the same as one sixteenth divided, uh, divided through rather by nine sixteenth, which is the same thing as one ninth. So this is the posterior distribution of, well, the probability that theta is equal to 1 given our data. And because the posterior distribution is also a probability distribution, that tells us that the posterior distribution, or the probability rather, that theta is equal to 0 given our data and given our model choice is just going to be 1 minus 1 ninth, which is just going to be 8 ninths. So what do we note here? Well, we note that we started off actually being relatively ambivalent between a given tribe having the disease or not having the disease. And in fact, we said that before, and we might specify that the probability of having the disease is actually a half. And then after we've received this data, we sort of say that for all of these individuals, the probability that they actually do come from a tribe which does have the disease is only one ninth. So I think that that's quite notable, really, even though we really didn't know beforehand whether to sort of guess whether these individuals did come from an infected tribe or not. We've narrowed down our probability significantly, and it seems to really be favouring the case of them not having the tribe, or not actually being infected, rather. So we're really favouring the case where theta is equal to zero, and we've worked out a posterior probability, which is eight ninths.